Welcome to the lecture on Tarius Express Entry Skill Trade Stream. And here we're going to learn how to apply for nomination for permanent resident in Ontario if you are a foreign worker already working in a eligible skilled trade. So we're going to just go over overview, the page and the link is included in the lecture. So basically what we have here is the program. Before you apply, you need to create the, your IRCC Express Entry Profile need to make sure that you meet the mandatory requirements you need to understand the application process and here you have all the information how to do it through the Ontario immigration uh, program the e-filing portal and if you're using a representative you need to complete the, the information and you have to pay 1500 to apply you can use a visa or mastercard credit card and you have 45 calendar days after you received your notification of interest to apply to this stream, okay? So, the important thing is to have your supporting documents ready. By the time you apply and then you wait for the notification of interest, it's important for you to have your supporting documents almost ready and organized so you don't waste time since you have a deadline of 45 days after you receive that, okay? Express Entry System, of course, this is for people that are already familiar with Express Entry System. We assume that you have taken your language test, you have your ECA uh, accreditation, you understand your NOC code or NOC, and you apply under the Canadian Experience class because this is for people who already work in the trades in Canada. Okay? So basically, this is the process that the Immigration Office in Ontario uh, go through for the pool and once they go that you have the mandatory requirements here and it goes from work experience you need to have at least one year of community pay full-time work experience of the killing in part-time work in Ontario in the skilled trade that is listed in the minor group 633 major group 72, 73 and 82 of the National Occupational Classification so that's the first thing you need to you need to make sure you are working in that group, you are working in Canada in the skilled trade. Your work experience must have been obtained with the, the last two years from the day your N NOI from Ontario. Uh, you need to be also in one or more of the occupations that you identify in your express entry profile. And you need you have obtained in Ontario, uh, obtained in Ontario while maintaining legal status in Canada. So those are the requirements. You need to make sure you meet all of them. Cumulative means your work has been done, must add up to one year, but it doesn't have to be one year of continuous work, okay? Full-time work experience, as we said before, fits uh, 1,560 hours per year. Part-time will be the equivalent of that, that kind of hour in two periods, and then you have more notes and information. Then you need to validate your certificate or license because some of the skills a tray, you need to have either a license or certification. Okay, you need to meet that requirement. You need to be currently living in Ontario. You need to have your language benchmarks, a CLB of level five or higher, either by taking IELTS or SERPIC or, or by taking the two English, uh, two French tests like the TAF and the TCF. And you have to have some summer funds, and if you have any doubt, depending on the size of your family, you need to check here the, what amount you need based on the size of your family and the LICO guidelines. Your intention to live in Ontario is important, and here you have the description of everything that you need to consider. Have to have a legal status in Canada. You can apply if you are a status or illegal in Canada. You need to be legal in Canada to be able to apply. And you have here the supporting documents. If you click here, you're going to send it to the uh, checklist of the mandatory documents. Again, don't waste time. If you can get your, your documents, gather your documents, and that document uh, have documents translated and notarized, just do it as fast as you can. Uh, take into consideration the validity of the uh, notarization and the translation, uh, where it's from, who is doing it, but you need just to follow the guideline from the checklist. The cost to apply is $1,500. Again, we can pay with credit card, Visa, Mastercard. Refunds, they only refund the fee if 
your application is incomplete or you withdraw the application before they start processing it. And this is very important. Your funds, the 1,500, can be refundable as far as they found either that your application is incomplete, that is not good news, or that you withdraw the application before they start processing it. If you don't meet those two requirements or any of the two, then you, and they start processing your application, then your refund won't apply, okay? In the case you use a representative, an immigration consultant or an immigration lawyer, then you need to follow these instructions here. And then you can submit the documentation and the application here, after, of course, meeting the requirements. You can do it online. And these are the instructions how to do it online, okay? And this is the link. After you apply, they have the instructions what, what to do after you apply, how to withdraw your application, and then finally, and how to do changes in your personal information. Those, all those informations are important, so you can do it online in the e-filing portal. You need to maintain a valid express entry profile at the end of the process, of course, so you can use that information to add it to your profile if you're nominated. And if you're not nominated, then you have here some process to do, like a request an internal review with explanation. Sometimes the explanation will tell exactly what you need. Uh, probably you can work on that so you can apply later on. Uh, for, uh, granted that you are taking care of the, the opportunity that you they found the first refusal, okay? So please go and check this link, it's very interesting. Again, this is for workers that are already in Canada on the, the skill tray. Or if you're in Canada working and you are studying also to get a license in the skill tray in Ontario, and that can help you then work after working. Just apply under this uh, job, uh, this uh, immigration program. So I hope you enjoyed this lecture. Thank you very much and we'll hope you enjoyed this course. Thanks a lot. Bye.